I will be moving in to my dorm. Hey guys, back again with another vlog. It is Monday, August 12th. A week from now, I will be back at Virginia Tech, back in my dorm, back in Blacksburg. We have lots and lots of things to do to prepare. Right now, I'm on my way to my eye appointment, and I'm actually going to pick up some shoes for my brother, pick up the order, and then I made a little Target order that I need to pick up because I was going through all my gift cards. I have so many gift cards that I didn't even know that I had and I've never used, and I had like $65 worth of Target gift cards. I got some stuff that I'm gonna need for school. They're having a college sale that doesn't start till Wednesday, so I just wanted to buy some like toiletries, things that aren't as important. You know, while I'm there, all the stores are literally in the same little center, so I might as well just while I'm there pick up a few things that I need to kind of check things off my list. That would just be less for later, so I'm just gonna get some toiletry things. Also need to get gas. We're definitely getting close to empty, and I have to go into the office tomorrow, so I definitely want to do that before tomorrow, so I'm going to get gas, and then I need to make my hair appointment. I'm saying this now because it's it's been on my like to-do list for weeks and I just keep forgetting and haven't done it. I'm gonna take you guys along with me as I do these little errands, my last few appointments and last little shopping things before I go back to school on Sunday. If I have time, I wanna go into Target and look for planners. I didn't wanna order that online because I'm very specific about the layouts of planners. So I always like to do that in person so I can actually open them up and see what they look like inside and how it's formatted and things like that. Literally, if I don't write something down, I'm going to completely forget. Like I literally have to write down to like respond to texts and emails because I will look at it and I'll respond in my head. I'll be like, oh, I need to do this and I'll just completely completely forget about it so that's why I need to write it down and I literally have Google Calendar I have Notion I use my like notes app all the time a lot of my classes everything is pretty much digital so I do like to have most of my stuff on my computer but I do really like to have a planner and like physically write it down I'm gonna go head out now because it's extremely hot I turned off the AC so that I wouldn't be like blaring and loud but I'm actually extremely hot and I'm wearing this and it's like 80 degrees which I know doesn't make any sense but let's go do some errands and let's get ready for back to school you too. I feel like it's bad. I feel like I should not stay parked here. You definitely can't do that. But I have to pee so bad. I'm gonna go into Target. Maybe I'll have time to buy a planner. I'm kind of pushing it. But luckily my appointment is right there. Right, back in the car I literally could not help myself I was like I'm in here I might as well just look and I'm glad I did because I only found one planner that was like the exact same format that I like the one that I wanted and the perfect size but I just did not like the cover it was just yellow I don't, know, I don't really like yellow like that and it was $15 and I'm just like why is this so much and all the other planners were just really really big like I don't want a huge planner I just want something small that will like easily fit in my bag I did not end up getting a planner which is perfectly fine and I've never been to this eye doctor place before because you Usually I go to the one through my like doctor and stuff but they had no appointment so I'm going to this one so I'm really in no rush and I'm good on timing because it's like a minute on the street so I'm gonna go ahead to my eye appointment hopefully that goes well I don't know if I'll find a pair of glasses I don't know if I'm getting contacts I literally don't know but I'm gonna go to my eye appointment and then pick up the shoes and then I need gas this is not okay ignore this it's literally fine it's just always on well, that was slightly a fail, not really. Basically, I went in there, and I guess they're really, really backed up and behind. I filled out the paperwork, and I did the pre-testing stuff. Like, if you have glasses, you know the little eye exam things they do before the actual checkup. They said it's going to be, like, a 40, 45-minute wait. So, I was like, okay, let me just go get my brother's shoes since I'm here, and it's going to be a long wait anyway. So, I'm just going to go really quick. Pick up his shoes. The store is literally right there. So, honestly, it kind of works out. Since I'm going to have to be waiting for a while, I can just get a few things done. I just picked up the shoes and I'm gonna show you what I got from Target. Again, these are just like little toiletries, extra things that I can have. So first off, I got these Colgate three pack of toothpaste and then I got this huge thing of eco styler gel I've seen these but I've never seen these in store they've never had the big ones and usually I don't get the olive oil one but it was the only um not flavor what do you call it I don't know it was the only like type they had in this size but I was like this should literally last me at least the first semester because those little ones I would literally just go through them so fast and I bought like three or four and like that barely lasted me the whole year but honestly this really should last me because I'm gonna have braids for most 
most of the year and so I really did not go through my gel like that because I wasn't like constantly slicking my hair back or I'd really just use it for my edges but I thought this would just be perfect and this should literally last me a long time and I'm running out of the one that I use at home anyways so like that and then I got this pack of four toothbrushes I don't know if I just brush my teeth aggressively but I feel like my toothbrushes just start to get ugly so fast so I'm constantly like switching out I'm such a kid I cannot use like the electric toothbrushes they like tickle my teeth I don't know what it is but I don't like the like vibration sensation on my teeth it, it's like nails on a chalkboard it makes me feel so uncomfortable and then I got more razors I love these so much this is a pack of three and then this is a pack of six and these honestly last me a pretty long time too like I don't think I had to go and buy new razors anytime during the school year just stuff like this I feel like especially because I don't have a car it's just a lot easier to just go and I just have a bunch of backups so then I don't have to like go find time to get on the bus and go to the store or like get a ride friend and go to Target want to just have this on deck so that I don't have to go to the store for things like that I thought this was gonna be way bigger which is why I bought it because it was cheaper but I just got some body lotion I run through body lotion so fast so I usually get like three of these the picture looks so much bigger this is actually gigantic I did not think it was gonna be this big actually I think this is the perfect size not gonna lie I thought this was gonna be slightly smaller but I do think this is actually the best size but I got this little calendar whiteboard because my roommate had a whiteboard and I was like dang I really would like that to just have it up in my room and I can just walk in my room and just see like what is my month looking like as you can tell I love my planners I love my calendars I love having everything planned out and written down and like I said I just wake up every day with like my brain automatically on 100 thinking of all the things that I need to do so writing it down just really helps put my mind at ease and I just like knowing that I can wake up and I can just look at my desk and I see what's important what's coming up what I have to do so I really like that it comes with a little dry race and I feel like the blocks are like big enough and then I got this big thing of Listerine I actually hate Listerine it burns my mouth so bad but I think that's why I like it because I feel like it really 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 works and this is really big this should last me a very very long time they gave me more toothbrushes I'm pretty sure I did not buy two things of toothbrushes so I'm very confused why I have this yeah that's really odd I don't know why I have that it is 4 21 I am back home now and today was very very successful I'm really really happy got my target order got the shoes and I actually got glasses today I did not think I was gonna get glasses at all because glasses shopping is literally the hardest thing to do ever it's so weird like any pair of glasses you put on really changes your face and you could be so used to one pair like I used to hate these glasses so much but now they've really grown on me and I actually really like them and I was like looking at glasses of the old style I had and I just did not like how they looked on my face this pair is really just supposed to be a backup so that I can have two pairs of glasses so that's why I was like you know what it's okay if I don't if I don't love them but I found a pair that I actually like and I actually had them on for a, like a while and I just kept looking at myself and I was like you know what I think I could actually see myself with these on and again they're just a backup so I don't have to love them so I ended up getting those and I got anti-glare on top of them because I have a really bad astigmatism but I was telling her how just hard it is for me to drive at night because the glare is so bad and I know that's partly due to my astigmatism and so she recommended the anti-glare and she said it might help. I don't know sometimes when people say that I'm like do you just want me to add on stuff so you guys make more money but honestly it was $41 and I was like honestly why not if it's for my comfort and my safety because I don't like driving at night because I literally the glare is actually horrible. $41 for just driving more comfortable at night but now I'm gonna go head out to hit a nice little workout. I just realized I had it on like the lowest setting, but I'm scared because my brothers are asleep and I don't want to wake them up. It actually worked pretty well. Good morning guys. It's a lot later actually. It's Thursday, August 15th, my brother's birthday and it is 8 a.m. and I'm actually here for my hair appointment. I'm actually at a new place because I just really didn't have a good experience my last time getting my hair done and I feel like I just really wasn't loving their customer service. Like they would do a good job and get my hair done really fast. But I was like, you know what, let me just try a different place. So I'm at a new place now and I always try to come in as earliest as I can because it takes a long time to do my hair since it's so long and thick. And so they're like, it is. 
and then I'm here and then no one's at the store. It's okay. I really want to try color, but I just always get too nervous and too scared that the color is not going to look good on me. And that's why I always just stick to black. But then I just feel like it's too plain. But I don't know. Like, I feel like color would be cute for this time of year, but I'm actually so scared to just try something new. So we'll see if I feel bold enough, but I don't know. I'm always like, oh, I'll do it next time. And then I don't. Since I'm gonna be waiting a few minutes, I called the stores. I said they're coming. I figured I would do a little update. Honestly, these past few days have been not great, like mentally and emotionally. I just haven't really been feeling too good. But yesterday, I went to Chili's for lunch with the HR intern, and that was so good. I like recently got introduced to Chili's. I don't think I've ever had it before the first time I went, and I was seeing like the triple dipper all over TikTok, and I was like, why does that kind of look good? Why was it so good? I was not expecting it to actually be that good, and so I got it again. Again, but instead of like wings or like ch crisps or whatever I got the Southwest egg rolls those were so good it was so good like I'm literally craving it I wanted it again so I got that and then the day before my job had a little happy hour dinner downtown to say goodbye to all the interns and we went to this really nice restaurant and it was free food you know that's always a plus I paid for everything it was amazing it was amazing a lot of people said it was really good and I was not expecting it to be that good they just ordered a bunch of appetizers and just like the season seasoning and, and how it's cooked it felt so like not high level but it just felt like not gourmet i'm trying to think of the word but it was just like fancier way nicer so that restaurant was really nice so that's kind of like fun celebrations but my internship has come to an end it is done yesterday was my last day in the office yeah i'm kind of sad i feel like it's kind of weird because it's like i didn't quit i wasn't fired it's just like you're done you need to go back to school luckily because i'm a freshman they're always like come back next summer like come whenever you're home that's always nice that there's opportunities there for me and it's always a possibility to go back but yeah today's thursday so we're really counting down the days of going to school and i'm not ready i'm gonna get shorter braids so hopefully it doesn't take too long but i'm just going to prepare that's gonna take all day and then we'll kind of go from there just because i haven't really planned out what i'm gonna do today just because i don't know how long my appointment is gonna take I'm out of my appointment and I love my braids. That actually was really good. I really, really like the place. They were really nice. Can't wait. I'm so happy to like not have to do with my hair and I just feel so much better when my hair is done. But I'm going to stop at Target and get my brother a birthday gift. I really want to get him Robux because he's obsessed with Roblox and he's always asking. So I want to see if they have it at Target. If they don't, I might get him like a Fortnite, like V-Bucks for Fortnite because he loves that too. He used to be obsessed with like dinosaurs, sharks, construction. Now it's just video games so I'm like what do I even get you so hopefully they have the stuff and luckily it's right there another morning another appointment today is Friday August 16th and I'm doing my last appointment finally which is my dentist appointment I'm just getting a little cleaning it's 8 57 my appointment is on 9 so we're about to head in hopefully this is quick but we're really getting to the final stretch I think today is when I want to get a majority of things done start packing <laughs> I'm actually really upset. I was importing all the footage and I realized that I recorded everything in slow motion. Today, yesterday, like after I had my dentist appointment, I recorded everything in slow motion. And I'm actually really, really upset because I got really good footage and what I was talking about, like I don't even remember what I was talking about and I was saying so much. A majority of it was like me packing. So now it's just gonna have to be like sped up time lapse, but that's actually very sad. And I'm like so frustrated. I think I must've like accidentally clicked it because I didn't even know how to record on slow motion. 
for this and i even had like my brother and he was saying stuff and that's actually so sad it is august 17th and i go back to school tomorrow i'm actually very sad but today my brother is having his birthday dinner so it's gonna be really really nice we can celebrate him and i can see a bunch of my family before i go back to school tomorrow i had my dentist appointment yesterday and i got a good amount of packing done and i washed and dried my sheets and my comforter and all that and then today my mom and i we picked up we picked up the rental car and we were just going through my list of all the things that i needed and then we grabbed some stuff because we had a lot of stuff at home so i just redid my target list because i was able to get a lot that we already have so that, so that i don't need to buy as much but yeah i need to get ready because his dinner is very soon but i am like i saw this and this actually made me really really upset like i know that's probably dramatic and it's so small but i'm just really sad because i liked these clips the talking is like useless like i was talking i was talking while i was packing but it's all in slow motion and there's no audio i'm watching this back and i'm just like moving in slow motion that's really frustrating but anyways i'm gonna get ready and i'm just gonna enjoy the rest of today being with my family and i'm really excited but it's getting real i leave tomorrow i figured since a lot of those clips got deleted that i'll just add this like talking portion session and i'm just trying to think of all the things that i said before and kind of just talking a little bit about school so first off is i'm going into my sophomore year at virginia tech i am majoring in advertising with a minor in digital marketing strategy i did in fact change both my major and minor i was originally a journalism student and i have no idea why i picked that because i've never been interested in journalism advertising is in the school of communications which i was in so it was really really easy to switch and then i added digital marketing strategy because i really wanted to take marketing classes and that's the concentration that i want to have a job in digital marketing but that's in the Pamplin School of Business and I would have to take a bunch of business prereqs like business calc all those like math classes and stuff that I didn't want to do so with a minor I can take marketing I can take all those type of well I'm trying to look for my thing I can take all those types of classes but without having to do the prereqs and all like the other business stuff that I don't want to do i'm taking 15 credits this semester which i kind of explained in another video but it's really just because all the other classes i want to take i have to take these intro courses before i can even take it and i'm pretty much done with all my like gen eds so i really can't add any other classes honestly i'm not really complaining i think it would be nice to take a, a few less credits because last year i took 19 in the fall 18 in the spring usually i like to take more in the fall and less in the spring but i might just end up taking 15 again so i'm taking personal financial planning which is like a gen ed class that i need for one of my credits i needed like an advanced math class and all of them were like real actual math and this is the only one that's not really math and i literally took like a personal finance class already those classes are kind of boring but honestly they really are good and beneficial because it's something that you actually need in your day-to-day -day life and it's just good to know about that type of stuff as you become a real adult so i'm taking that and then i have visual comm strategies which is basically a visual media class and they changed it where like every comp major would take visual media but now they have it specifically for your major so i'll be with all advertising students which is fun because i definitely like i have a lot of friends in ujima but i definitely want to branch out and make more friends in my major and just in the school of comm i'm kind of excited to be with other advertising students and then i'm taking media writing which i've heard is a super duper hard class and that the teacher grades really really hard I don't know, i'm kind of nervous for that because everyone says he's super hard and then i have marketing management i'm really excited this will be like my first marketing class and then i have intro to digital marketing strategy so i'm really really excited i'm taking a lot of classes for my major and that's just really exciting to learn more about my career and what i want to do and pamplin the business like school whatever their building is so nice because it's kind of like just jungle tropical theme and there's a bunch of plants in there so i loved like going in there in between classes to do work because they have like a bunch of little desks and i just love that building it's really cute so i think i'm gonna have a couple classes in there honestly that sounds pretty good i'm taking two calm classes two classes for my minor and then a gen ed class and i think i'm done before four every day unfortunately i have like 9 a.m's every single day which 9 a.m's are definitely not as bad as 8 a.m's every single day is crazy because there were definitely a couple times where i completely missed my 9 a.m because i did not wake up and i just 
just missed whole class and I forgot my alarm. And so that's the only reason why I don't like to schedule early classes because I'm scared that I'm not gonna wake up and miss the class. I got a question asked on my TikTok before and it was like, how is it being POC at a PWI? And honestly, being in Ujima has made my college experience so, so amazing. I think I definitely still would have made friends and I would have met people, but not as easy if I wasn't in Ujima. It really allowed me to meet so many people and make friends immediately right off the bat. People that I'm still friends with are my closest friends and we're going to be roommates next year and just meeting a lot of people and finding your people. I do go in my classes and there are sometimes I'm literally the only black person and not even just the only black person but sometimes the only person of color. Like there's not even an Asian person, Hispanic, like no one else. I'm the only person that's not white in my class. And I think that it's not really a culture shock because my entire life I've gone to schools that are majority white. So it's nothing that I'm not used to or it wasn't like a change. Honestly, being in Ujima is a change for me because I've never been surrounded by that many people that I can really relate to on a deeper level. And I feel like it's even just helped me and like my own self-discovery and who I am and it's just really interesting and I think another thing is like I have a lot of like African friends and I feel like I've learned more about African culture through them whether it's music food literally anything i honestly recommend if you're thinking of coming to tech and you're worried about finding people definitely definitely join ujima i mean the dorms are also great you get to live in a dorm with ac and i love the suite style but i feel like they really do a good job of helping you connect with people and make friends or just showing you the resources of like black organizations or just clubs in general so even if it's not necessarily meeting people through ujima they give you so many resources of how to meet and connect with people and we do like mixers networking events and like the first week there they made everyone open up their syllabus add all their classes to their calendar they showed us how to use the bus system we even had a little q a with upperclassmen and you could like ask them anything people ask about like parties and things like that uh, and everyone gets set up with a mentor um, so this year i'm gonna be a mentor and they do it by major and it's so funny because my mentee is actually one of my like close friends from high school her little sister and we're the same major and i think that's so cute because i can like look out for her and like since we're the same major I can help her with all her classes and I just love stuff like that but it's also really nice that we already kind of know each other I can just you know tell her older sister that she's in good hands but yeah you have a mentor that you meet with like bi-weekly so my mentor is the one that like gave me a tour took us to like all our classes so then we knew the buildings of where our classes were and it's just so helpful so I definitely recommend it for any in incoming freshman you don't have to be black whatsoever African African American before anyone says that no you don't really helped my college experience and this is the reason why I have as many friends as I do. Like, I just definitely think it would have taken me a lot longer to find my group of people. Doing that has really, really, really helped. Especially as a freshman, I think it helped with the friend part, but it also helped getting adjusted and transitioning to college. I'm definitely putting on way too much blush, but yeah, I just feel like I never formally explained that. And that's also why I'm moving in like a week early because all freshmen move in a week early for weeks of welcome where they have a bunch of events and orientations and things like that. So we're gonna be moving in because we have to do like mentor training things and then you also have to be there for the Ujima orientation and stuff. Honestly, I don't really mind because it's actually nice. You can like settle in, move in, and you have the whole week to kind of like readjust before classes start because I feel like that would be kind of a lot like move in and then two days later classes. I wanted a middle part and like this is, you can tell it's not a middle part. I didn't even notice until my mom. Oh, I guess it is. It is a middle part. I did my hair like this yesterday, so I'm gonna do it again because I just don't like my hair in my face. This is the finish like finish makeup. I got a new setting spray yesterday that I tried to show you guys when I was recording in slow motion and I actually love it. It really, really works. I think that's like the first setting spray I've used that I felt like actually did something. It wasn't just like mist, so I'm gonna use that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me thing. All right, bye guys. I'll see you later. some rugs. Perfect juicy couture. 44 by that's four by five. You found one. Oh uh, shaggy one? Yeah. Well, I like this one too. Four by six. Four by Wait, this is actually good. I think this is a good size. Rug secured. This is good. It's like I wear it every day. I wanted to do a very quick haul of the last few minute things that we got. From Ross, I got a rug. I also just got these little kitchen towels. And then the rest is from Target. I got a big thing of detergent. I just use liquid detergent. I know some people use pods, but I've heard that sometimes theirs doesn't fully dissolve all the way, but this is just easy to me. And it literally lasts me the entire school year. <gasps> 
I didn't even know it spins. That's cool. I got a new makeup organizer because honestly, I never had one and I was just using like, I'm pretty sure it's meant for like office supplies. But I just really wanted an actual makeup organizer that made sense on my desk. And I love this. Put my brushes here, products in here. I'm really excited to use this. And then I got this big thing to refill soap because we already have people bringing actual soap things. And I think these are so much easier to just refill them with. Day quill and night quill. So, so important. Honestly, I really didn't get sick that much in school, luckily. I don't know why. Definitely just in case. Plastic utensils dryer sheets we have a big thing of duncan k-cups i did bring like the rest of my keurig pods from home but i do have a keurig i don't even know if you're really supposed to have one in the dorms but i have one i had all of last year's never a problem this is 44 but i literally drink coffee every day that is much needed and then i got some deodorant here we have some trash bags zyrtec super duper important allergy season was really really bad for me last year aquaphor for my lips i literally got this last year and i lost both of them windex toilet bowl cleaner paper bowls this lotion i honestly got this because it was on sale they're having a sale for like all personal items this specific lotion smells so so good the vanilla cashmere these are just like crazy expensive but they smell so good body wash i also got this brand because i've been seeing these everywhere if you see all the little hygiene tiktoks hygiene videos they always talk about this brand and i've been wanting to use it and i only got them because they were on sale i got two 32 ounces this should literally last me the entire year i have the popular peppermint one and then i have lavender lastly i got this plunger and toilet scrub set this is definitely something i completely forgot about to get until my roommate and i we were cleaning the bathrooms and i realized there was no scrub to like scrub the toilet bowl and eventually someone ended up getting one or putting it in the bathroom so then we were, i was using it and i was like i forgot to think of that and then i texted my suite and i was like hey is anyone getting this and no one did so i was like perfect i can buy this and we can have for our bathroom because i just forgot this is something that you need that is officially everything that i need for my dorm for the rest of the night i'm just going to finish up packing up tomorrow i'll be on my way back to blacksburg that is all for this week's vlog we are done preparing i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait for all of the college vlogs i am honestly really really sad to leave my family my brothers my friends and brian i know that everything will work out next time i see you i will be moving in to my dorm so i'll see you guys next time bye